It's a difficult part of life that can be hard to accept losing someone that's close to you. But there are things you can do to help you and your loved ones cope. You'll find some great tips for remembering your loved one. This really interesting book, it's called Past and Present, Keeping Memories of Loved Ones Alive. We're so happy to have the author, Allison Gilbert, with us today. Allison, thanks Thank for coming in. Thank you. So you're a journalist. Yes. And that is your background, and that's what you brought to this. Was it a personal loss that you experienced that got you exploring this? Yeah, I had an avalanche of loss in my life. My parents um, died pretty young, and my aunt and uncle, and through various causes, but the end result for me besides missing them is that I wanted to learn how to remember them mm -hmm. and there weren't any resources for how to remember so that's the book I wanted to write. And you brought some ideas of uh, suggestions of how to remember loved ones including yes. this quilt yes. that helps you remember your dad. Yeah so my dad um, was a businessman and he wore ties to work every single day and then we went out to dinner he would still be wearing his tie or he went out to the theater and so this quilt is all made from my dad's ties and so when I look at this quilt and I look at it with my children sure. I can remember certain times that oh, you know cool. we wore or you know he wore the tie but there I can might be tell a tie that you pick out that you're like oh I remember when exactly. we did this. It, it makes my dad a little bit more tangible to mm. my children because they don't remember him. Well, what I, what I think is so cool about this is a lot of us, when you think of the only way that people have to mem uh, memorialize is either photos or an urn. Yes. And to be yes, honest, yes. like to some people, an urn is a little bit of a creepy way to remember <laughs> your loved one, but this is alive. Like, yes. this is alive. So this does not have to be creepy at all. So the book Past and Present is all about creative opportunities to remember that go well beyond the cemetery, go well beyond lighting a candle. So as an example, candy, right? So you would think, why did you bring lemon heads right. to the studio today? So so lemon heads are, for me, a complete reminder of my dad because he loved everything mm. lemon. So if I had lemon sorbet, if I had lemon ice cream, if I had mm. anything lemon, to me it's a celebration mm -hmm. of my dad, even though I like chocolate like much more than <laughs> right. lemon. But on his birthday, on the anniversary of his death, I like to eat lemon. But here's the thing, if I didn't tell you the story about why lemon is important to me, the story of my dad would be over and you wouldn't know it. So the point of sharing candy, of, it could be small. Mm -hmm. Any opportunity mm -hmm. is, a, is a ripe opportunity to share a memory, which I think is really important to do. And that's so great because sometimes birthdays, it can be such a sad day, but this is a way to celebrate that yes. person's life. Yes, for Thank sure. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes. We've run out of time and for bringing this idea. Well, you have a chance to meet up with Allison Gilbert this weekend. Tomorrow she'll be speaking at the Barnes & Noble and Edina at 1 p.m. It is free and open to the public. Very good. And ask about the Memory Bash Memory Book when they go see you next week. All right. For sure, definitely. Very good. Okay, cool. Allison, thanks for coming in. Thank you.